Hey guys, and welcome back to another It Kinda Works laser cutting video. Today, what we're gonna talk about is how to find the focal point of your laser. Now, these really cheap Chinese laser cutters, they usually come with some little slide mechanism to hold your work in the uh, laser bed here. One of the reasons that I took out that whole contraption there was because it just was not at the correct level to be in focus with the laser. So these lasers, you know, they're, they're, it's not a perfectly straight beam. It's sort of a cone that comes in and then spreads back out. So what you want when you're cutting your work or you're etching your work is to have the laser cone, that very tip of the cone, be somewhere near the top third of your work. But before you can even get to that point, you need to know where is your laser's sweet spot. So there are numerous ways on how to find this, but the easiest that I've found is to take a sacrificial piece of wood. So you want something that you can get a nice black, a nice line on and see actually where the laser is. Uh, something to use as a standoff. This is just an Altoids tin. Hopefully the goal here is we're not burning this at all, we're just hitting the wood. And lastly, you need some way to measure uh, distances, measure the height of where the focal point should be. So I have some cheap little calipers here, but if you don't have these, you could also use a ruler and just kind of mark off where it is that you find your sweet spot. Okay, that's better. All right, so I have my little Altoids tin and my piece of wood, and I'm just gonna place the piece of wood on top of the Altoids tin so that we form a little ramp just like that. All right, now, if we take a look over here at the computer, you can see that I have K40 Whisperer up here, and what I've done is I've just loaded this little line demo cut that I have, and I'm using 40 millimeters per second cut rate, and I have my power level on my laser cutter set pretty low, maybe five or so milli, uh, milliamps on the little dial there. So all I'm going to do is I'll just close the lid here and we're just going to cut a line or really we're just going to etch a burn, a very thin line into the piece of wood and we'll be able to see where the sharpest point on that wood is. All right, and that's all there is to it. Now, you probably can't see it super clearly here. I'll make sure to post a picture in the video here. But the sweet spot is somewhere around a third of the way along that line. So all I'm going to do is take my measuring device and measure using the little pokey out part at the bottom of the calipers. I'm just going to measure from about a third of the way up that board down to my cutting bed. And I've come out with a result of 0.424 inches. So just under a half an inch from this cutting bed, which roughly matches the distance that I use these two little standoff pieces of wood here. All right, guys, so that's about all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up down below. Get subscribed to the channel. And if you have any other questions, go to itkindaworks.com slash forum. And if you really want to help out the channel today, go to patreon.com slash itkindaworks and just toss in whatever you can. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.